Hi dear students, today I am going to discuss a very important chapter in the second block, Heights of Harmony. The title of the chapter is Amigo Brothers. It is written by a very famous American writer, Perry Thoms. In the first chapter in the second block, Mending Wall by Robert Frost. We have come across a wall which establishes smooth relationship between the two neighbors. But the real question is, is the act of building the wall or the willingness to accept the views of the neighbor? that actually ensures smooth relationship between the two neighbors. We know that it is not the wall, but the willingness to accept the views of the neighbor actually establishes a cordial relationship between the two neighbors. Another question is, do we really need words? Do we really need such restrictions and limitations in our relationships? Shouldn't we dare to go beyond all these words, all these words of restrictions and limitations, all these words of casteism, religion, cultural differences, linguistic differences, etc. Now we are going to discuss a story in which there are two youngsters who tried their level best to overcome these walls of restrictions and limitations that they came across in their life. The story Amigo Brothers is written by Piri Thomas. Piri Thomas was born in New York in 1928. He faced a lot of challenges and problems in his life. And he spent seven years in prison due to some criminal activities. In his prison days, he reflected on the teachings of his father and mother and started dreaming positively. When he came out of the prison, he decided to use his prison and street know-how to reach out to the risk youth and try to help them to live a life without crimes. He helped the youngsters to Dream Positivity. The title of the chapter, Amigo Brothers. Amigo is a Spanish word which means friend. So here we come across two friends who felt themselves to be brothers. Such was their friendship. Such was their relationship. I move on to the first two paragraphs in the story Amigo Brothers by Piri Thomas. I am going to read out the first two paragraphs. Please listen to this reading. Amigo Brothers by Piri Thomas. Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas were both 17 years old. They were so together in friendship that they felt themselves to be brothers. They had known each other since childhood, growing up on the lower east side of Manhattan in the same building. Antonio was fair, lean and lanky, while Felix was dark, short and husky. Antonio's hair was always falling over his eyes, while Felix wore his black hair in a natural afro style. In the first two paragraphs, we come across the relationship between the two teenagers 
and their physical features. In the very first line itself, the two important characters in the story are introduced. The two characters are Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas. They were two teenagers. They were 17 years old. It is stated in the text that they were so intimate. Their friendship was so thick and they felt themselves to be brothers. They had known each other since their childhood. They grew up in the same building. They lived in the same building on the lower east side of Manhattan. In the second paragraph, the writer speaks about some of the physical features of these two teenagers, these two young boxers. Their physical features were different. Antonio was fair, lean and lanky. The meaning of the word lanky. Lanky means tall and thin. Whereas Felix Vargas was dark, short and the third expression which is used to describe him is husky. Husky means strong and muscular. As far as the physical features were concerned, these two youngsters were totally different. Antonio had a long wavy hair which fell upon his eyes, whereas Felix Vargas wore his hair in a natural afro style. So what do you mean by afro style? Afro style is a particular type of hairstyle originating with black people. It is a hairstyle of tight curls in a full evenly rounded bushy shape all over the head. So he wore his hair in a natural afro style. So in that paragraph we come across the physical features of these two teenagers, these two young boxers. Now I am going to read out the next two paragraphs in the story Amigo Brothers. Each youngster had a dream of someday becoming a lightweight champion of the world. Every chance they had. The boys worked out sometimes at the boys club and sometimes at the gym. Early morning sunrises would find them running along the East River Drive wrapped in sweatshirts and short towels around their necks. While some youngsters were into straight negatives, Antonio and Felix slept, ate, wrapped and drank positive. Between them, they had a collection of fight magazines plus a scrapbook filled with torn tickets to every boxing match they had ever attended and some clippings of their own. When we go through these two paragraphs, we find some of the personality traits of these two youngsters. Both of them had a beautiful dream. Both of them wished to become the lightweight champion of the world someday. What do you mean by lightweight champion? Lightweight is a category in boxing. There are so many categories in boxing. Boxers are categorized into different groups in accordance with their body weight. For example, if the boxers are below 48 kilograms, then they belong to that category called light flyweight. If they are below 52, they belong to that category called flyweight. If they are below 56, they belong to that category called bantam weight. And these two young boxers belonged to that category called light weight because their body weight was below 135 pounds or 61 kilograms. 
they wanted to become the lightweight champion of the world someday. Then there is an expression in the text, every chance they had. Every chance they had to become the lightweight champion of the world because they worked very hard. They practiced regularly, sometimes at the boys club, the club to which these two youngsters belonged, sometimes at the gym. Then another beautiful expression is used in the text. A poetic expression. Early morning sunrises would find these two youngsters running along the East River Drive, wrapped in sweatshirts. The expression used is not people found these two youngsters running along the East River Drive. This is not the expression used, a poetic expression is used by the writer. Early morning sunrises would find these two youngsters running along the East River Drive wrapped in sweatshirts. Wrapped. Wrapped means covered. They were covered in sweatshirts. They were sweating profusely because of the exercise, because of the workout. They were sweating profusely. They were wearing sweatshirts. What do you mean by sweatshirt? Sweatshirt means a cotton knit pullover with long sleeves. People wear these sweatshirts during athletic activities. So they were wrapped in sweatshirts. I have already told you, Peter Thomas wanted to help youngsters dream positive. So here there is an expression in the text. Many of the youngsters were out into the streets negatives. What do you mean by that expression? So many youngsters were out into the streets negative. They were pessimistic. They were doing all sorts of negative things to attract public attention. But these two youngsters were very positive because they had a beautiful dream. They slept, they ate, they wrapped and they dreamt positive. A beautiful expression in the text. They slept. They ate, they are wrapped. What do you mean by wrap? Wrap here means to talk volubly. They talked volubly, they drummed positive. Together they had a collection of fight magazines. Both of them together had a scrapbook. Scrapbook means an album into which photographs, notes, etc. can be pasted. They had a scrapbook which consisted of almost all the torn tickets of the boxing matches that they ever attended. In that scrapbook, you also find some clippings of these youngsters some photographs of these young boxes. Now we move on to the next two paragraphs in the story. Now after a series of elimination bouts, they had been informed that they were to meet each other in the division finals that were scheduled for the 7th of August, two weeks away. The winner to represent the boys club in the Golden Gloves Championship tournament. The two boys continued to run together along the East River Drive, but even when joking with each other, they both sensed a wall rising between them. Here it is stated that after a series of elimination bouts, what do you mean by elimination bouts? In games like tennis, boxing, etc., there are elimination bouts. That means the defeated person will be eliminated from the tournament. 
after a series of elimination bouts elimination bouts means elimination contest elimination matches these two youngsters were informed by the authorities by the officials that they had to fight each other they had to meet each other at the finals at the division finals another interesting information was that the winner of the division finals would represent their club the boys club in the golden gloves championship golden gloves championship is a very important and famous boxing tournament in us the boxing tournament was started in 1927 by a newspaper writer paul gallico the tournament is very famous in us it is very popular because this tournament marks the entry of amateurs to boxing so many great boxers like george foreman and the legendary muhammad ali entered the boxing arena through this tournament so these two youngsters were informed that the winner of the division finals would represent the boys club in the golden gloves championship and in the finals they had to meet each other in the finals these two youngsters these two friends had to meet each other the match was scheduled to take place on 7th of august that means two weeks ahead for one more week they continued to practice together they continued to run along the east river drive together but both of them sensed both of them felt that a wall was rising between them both of them felt that there was some sort of restriction in the relationship what would be the meaning of this wall in this context here the wall could be the friendship or the boxing match it could be interpreted as the friendship because they feared their friendship could affect the boxing match it could be the boxing match because they feared the boxing would affect the friendship so they sensed that a wall was rising in between them a wall was rising in between them which hindered the relationship which hindered the friendship or which hindered the prospects of becoming the lightweight champion of the world someday now i move on to the next paragraph one morning less than a week before that bout they met as usual for the daily workout and do you glance at felix who kept his eyes purposely straight ahead pausing from time to time to do some fancy leg work while throwing one twos followed by uppercuts to an imaginary joe after a mile or so felix puffed and said let us stop a while bro i think we both got something to say to each other one week before their match they met each other for the daily workout antonio looked at felix antonio glanced at felix who paused occasionally to do some fancy leg work leg work means physical activity intense or rigorous physical activity throwing one twos followed by an uppercut to an imaginary joke 
what do you mean by this expression one twos followed by an uppercut to an imaginary joke one twos that means one punch and that punch was followed by two punches these punches were followed by an uppercut to an imaginary joke uppercut is a type of punch in boxing uppercut means a punch which is directed upwards and with your arms bent an uppercut to an imaginary joke some of you might have watched that film yel sundara ratrigal in that film there is a character which is played by that actor murali gopi so in that film you can watch murali gopi doing fancy leg work and throwing one and twos and that upper cut to an imaginary joke or just watch a boxing match then you can find the fancy leg work of these boxers and the punches to imaginary jokes felix wolgers wanted to say something to antonio so they stopped the daily work of felix wolgers said that both of them wanted to talk to each other they had something to share so in the next session we would discuss what these two youngsters wanted to share and how they conducted themselves in that boxing match you have to prepare an assignment this is that assignment prepare a short write up on the physical features of the two young boxers and also their personality traits which are discussed in the first part of the story amigo brothers by peri thomas that's all for the day thank you